As the fires continue to burn in Northern California, dramatic orange skies and fiery red sunsets are seen as shown here. At the same time that massive fires were burning out of control in California, apocalyptic wildfires were spreading in Portugal. All across England, the sun in the sky turned ominous as Hurricane Ophelia approached the British Isles, bringing with it sand and dust carried over from southern Europe's wildfires and from the Sahara as a result of a bizarre weather anomaly. This according to local forecasters from London's Met Office. As the sun moved through the uh, supposed dust, the ground appeared to turn to the color of dirt. The unusual anomaly occurred at midday on October 16th and quickly spread across the country. The UK is said to encounter this phenomenon at least once or twice a year when sands from the Sahara move north towards the European continent. Hurricane Ophelia, the tenth storm to develop in the Atlantic this year, was an extremely unusual hurricane. What made this storm so strange was its location in the North Atlantic, where the water is usually too cool for hurricanes to develop. Instead of heading towards the west, this storm took a northeast route hitting Ireland and the UK, which makes this story even more peculiar. The sky is continuing to manifest itself in unusual ways. Those who take the time to look up into the heavens are often astonished by what is seen. This image may look real to some, and yet it is only a facade. This image from Texas in June of this year is quite real. It is a sky phenomenon that is often mistaken for a large spherical object. There are often times when the sky will display beams of light as seen here in this photo from Fort Myers, Florida. These are referred to as crepuscular rays as they appear from the direction of the sun. They were once thought to be a rare phenomenon but are now appearing frequently which suggests that our sky is gradually changing. Then too there are moments when clouds take on an ominous look as this video shows from France. The strange cloud formations also appeared in Brazil recently, as seen in these images. They are known as Asparatus Clouds, and they are appearing more frequently in many parts of the world as a precursor to storm activity. As the world's climate continues to worsen, the probability of giant fissures opening in the Earth's surface continues to grow. 
Some of these cracks are created by seismic activity, but many are now known to occur due to excessive rainfall due to extreme weather anomalies. On October 16th, huge cracks opened in the ground of the Lampong district of Thailand following heavy rain. This was an earth-changing event which baffled local authorities as well as many residents. When it comes to defining the reasons why this planet has become a victim of drastic and bizarre weather anomalies and sudden earth changes, we are provided with mixed signals from NASA, from the NOAA, and from the USGS. We were told that climate change was a product of a warming planet, one that was heating up from excessive carbon emissions, which the NOAA labeled as global warming. The USGS continuously downgrades the intensity of earthquake activity, while indicating that any uptick is primarily the result of a decrease in sunspots and because our sun is moving into a period of solar minimum. NASA informed the world back in 1983 that their infrared telescope IRIS had discovered the presence of a heavenly body as large as Jupiter in the outer reaches of our solar system. After publishing their discovery in the Washington Post, NASA went silent on their announcement, and they did so for 30-30 years, until 2016, when they suggested the presence of a large body in our solar system, which they call Planet Nine. While announcing these major discoveries, they continued to deny the existence of Planet X. But here is the latest news on this elusive planet from NASA. Because no matter how many times they attempt to change their story, the subject of Planet X refuses to go away. It remains as much a mystery today as it was some 30 years ago. On October 4th, via a press release, NASA announced that there is now growing evidence for the existence of Planet 9, also known as Planet X, which is often associated with the doomsday planet Nibiru. It now looks like Planet 9 is out there lurking invisibly in the darkest regions of the solar system. Since early 2016, when NASA was finally compelled to admit to the possibility of a rogue planet, the evidence just keeps coming in. It is now believed that the presence of this massive body is responsible for the planets being tilted six degrees relative to the sun's equator. Its gravitational field has gradually influenced the orbits of other planets in our solar system. No other model has been able to explain the strangeness of these high inclination orbits. If you were to remove this explanation and then suggest that Planet X or Planet 9 does not exist, there would then be a series of unresolved puzzles that would require different theories to explain them. 
The bottom line is that NASA is now admitting that Planet X exists in our solar system. They just can't find it, even with the assistance of their sophisticated telescopes. But they are calling on amateur astronomers from around the world to help them find it. According to NASA, the human eye may be able to detect objects that even the most advanced technology cannot do. Do any of their statements or press conferences make a lick of sense? It certainly has all the earmarkings of a campaign of deception, and maybe that is their intention. As the mystery of Planet X continues to make headlines, we are left to determine what the truth is. The strange and unpredicted behavior of our sun and the moon. The historical weather anomalies across the world. The unprecedented retreat of the oceans. The dramatic increase in intensity of seismic and volcanic activity, in addition to the unexplained mass die-off of marine and animal life. These are all indicators that great changes are upon us. If we ignore these warnings, we do so at our own peril. Therefore, my friends, keep yourself informed, watch for the signs here on earth and in the heavens, be mindful of your surroundings at all times, and most importantly, keep looking to the sky.